Good morning. Today is Thursday, August the 10th. The time right now in Singapore is 11.37 in the morning. Overnight, uh, we still see a market consolidating ahead of tonight's CPI numbers release. And this is going to be the highlight for the week itself. I do expect a bit of volatility going into the number. And uh, just to recap, uh, overnight, we can see that the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average uh, basis, the micro e-mini uh, Dow futures has been trading basically sideways for this week up to this moment in time. And we can see the last trading price was 35,000. 342 basically in mid price between the high of 35,600 and the low of uh, 35,077. So basically the market right now is just waiting for the number to be released tonight. So I do expect some kind of volatility that I mentioned but uh, generally speaking I do expect if there's going to be any uh, upside I think it will be probably be kept around 35,600. I'm a little bit biased to the downside. I still do believe that the market will probably trend to the downside with the primary target at 34,500 there about in the S&P we can see that the micro e mini S&P 500 futures is also trading a little bit more to the downside than upside if there's going to be any rebound it's like be kept within five uh, 4550 to 4567 range and uh, my immediate target is at 4411 there about in the micro e mini NASDAQ 100 prices has been coming down uh, despite uh, the Dow Jones holding uh, in holding pattern. We can see overnight the NASDAQ 100 has been trading a little bit more to the downside uh, more than the other major indices. The low traded last time was 15,145 in the futures contract. Now it's getting very, very close to my original target here at 15,063 and a half to 15,127 and a quarter. So if there's going to be any upside, I do expect the uh, prices between 15,440 to 15,531 to actually cap this round for the alternate target at 14,853 and a half. So I do have targets and let's see what happens uh, in the uh, aftermath of the release of the CPI. Now this week is going to be crucial because we are so close to last week's uh, low price and if we do end the week on a very weak note below last week's lowest price then the market is primed to trade to the downside in a very big way uh, going Going into the balance of August so do watch out for the closing tomorrow and over in Asia we can see that the Hang Seng has uh, more or less returned back uh, yesterday's gain yesterday we have a rally attempt but the best it can do was 19,283 in the futures contract in the Hang Seng and uh, prices are still looking a little bit uh, a weak right now I do expect market to dip into the 18,560 70 to 18,830 levels. So do watch out for another dip in the Hang Seng going forward. We have the uh, Shanghai Composite Index basically still in holding water. The uh, rally attempt has actually frizzled out uh, after a high at 19,283 and uh, prices are looking, uh, sorry, this is the, sorry. This is the Hank, uh, this is the Shanghai Composite Index. We can see prices are currently trading below the pivot point, which I mentioned uh, in many updates this week at 3,248. And prices, if it close below this line, is probably going to go down and test the 3,144, uh, 40. And in the Nikkei 225, uh, we have a bit of a struggle. I just still believe that there's going to be a little bit more upside left, although the last attempt only managed 32,530 in the futures contract in the Nikkei. Uh, I do expect if the price do rally one more time, it should be kept at 32,570 to 32,780 range before it comes back down and take out the 31,660. I have a primary target here at 30,700 to 31,240. Okay, so do watch out for a rally attempt if it fails it will come back down again and over in the dollar index we can see dollar strength it remains quite evident uh, but right now we are at the people uh, the pivotal point in time I do believe if we do see a price to take out this blue uh, uh, support line although this is a very minor support line but I do expect the price to come back down if it uh, uh, fail to hold at this blue line here, which is the near term support. And if it does pull back down, I would think the next logical uh, extension of this move is going to be 101.50 levels to so as low as 101.30. So there's a possibility we can do a three way pullback before the market stabilizes and possibly rally uh, into a new high beyond the 103 that we have seen so far. Uh, in the euro dollar, we can see the same thing, just a mirror image. You can see that the market has been uh, trying to rally but has been kept 
uh, below this um, near term resistance line represented by this blue line and if there's going to be a breach here market has a possibility of extending higher to 11060 to 11090 levels before it unravels to the downside to take out 10912 sterling is basically in the same situation we are expecting the price to actually hold around the current level of 126.90 to 127 and uh, before it attempts to rally there are two possible areas in which you may rally to but i think initial target is 128.60 to 129 levels okay do watch out for this extended uh, rally before it unravels and in the aussie market we can see the prices has traded lower overnight to just under uh, 0.65 before we see a bit of consolidation. If there's going to be further consolidation, upside potential is going to be kept just below this uh, swing high here at 0.6609, okay, before the market goes down towards my target at 0.64 even. Dollar, uh, dollar yen itself is a little bit of a, uh, of a uh, difficult call because I've been calling for dollar yen to come off, but the dollar yen stays very elevated. In fact, it's challenging. Uh, last week high at uh, one point uh, 140, 143.90 and currently where we are right now we are already there uh, 143.82 so it looks like the market want to go higher but I think uh, 145.07 will probably hold okay and uh, if that's the case then I still see a possible pullback in the dollar yen itself dollar Canadian re remains uh, quite uh, uh, stable right now after a push to a new high for the month itself at 135 uh, and then we see a pullback to 141 uh, 10 levels and market will rebound back to 143 half huh, before it stabilizes i think the downside is going to be uh, more likely to be the case so i still calling for a near term uh, pullback in the dollar uh, but again the dollar has been very firm so do watch out for any kind of uh, uh, eventualities and over in crude oil, the crude oil has been very, very firm. Uh, new height again for the uh, for this uh, since April itself. We can see the high traded at eighty four dollars and sixty five cents overnight. And unless the price do a bit of a, a one hundred eighty degree turn and close below eighty two dollars and seventy cents, this uh, uh, near term bullishness in energy markets might likely stay. I was hoping that there will be some reaction at $83.34, but there was none. The market actually wants to go higher. So the next thing, if you uh, still, like me, do not want to buy anything above $80, then the best thing we can do is hope that there is going to be a, a retracement, and that can only be confirmed with a close below $82.70, in my opinion. And over in uh, precious metal, we can see precious metal continue to slide, and this has given rise to the to the idea that possibly we're going to see more losses ahead and uh, overnight I did mention if the price does give me a chance to get out I should be able to get out and I did and uh, I managed to scratch my long position with no losses and uh, if in the near term we get a bounce back to $1,928 I think that will be a price to get out uh, or even position short uh, between the $1,927.40 to $1,936. So if this is the case, then I think there's a possibility the market may challenge the low here in uh, in June, uh, sorry, in July at uh, $1,892.80. So there is that possibility of a challenge of the June low. And over in silver market, silver has been a lot more weaker than expected. I am still not able to get out on my long silver position uh, because the market never really did rebound. So if I you can see a rebound back to $23.18, I am more than happy to get out of my long position and stand aside and wait because the structure does suggest that uh, over time, it may actually challenge the June low of $22.11 and maybe even lower. Uh, my target here is $20.30 to $21.25 uh, in the spot market. And over in Bitcoin, we can see that the Bitcoin has been struggling. Uh, the, the, the rally to $30,800 has risen out a little bit, but I'm still hopeful that the price may actually find some kind of accumulation around the $29,800 to $29,000, uh, sorry, even $30,000. So if this price can actually hold, then the target remains at $31,785 for now. So let's watch how it behaves going into uh, the, the CPI number release tonight. That's all I have for you for today. In the meantime, you take care and I'll come back to you tomorrow with another update. Bye-bye. Take care.